Set for and A Circle Properties, the TYS questions. Now, TYS 2015, question number 12. I have the following circle and diagram given to me. Now, question says that A, B, C, D are points on the circle. What do we notice about points on the circle? Points on the circle are a cyclic quad. That means the opposite angles in the opposite segment are at, add up to 180. And not only that, we have angle B, O, C, the center O. Uh, this one, what can we see? Which property can we see? We notice that we can have an angle at the center, the twice angle at the circumference, the Chinese dancer. So in this case, I know that this is 110. What does that give me about this angle? Immediately, I know this one will be 110 divided by 2 to give me 55 degrees. Okay, and on top of that, we know AB, ABO is a radius, OC is a radius. Hence, we can find the angle over here at the base angles. I'm not sure whether do we need it later, but we can still use it. Okay, so now let's take a look at our question. Uh, D O DCO is given to be 40 degrees. Now, there's some additional information that we are given. Find the angle BDC. Mm. Question part A, part 1. Obviously, angle BDC will be 110 divided by 2, 55 degrees, due to angle at center, twice angle at circumference. Part 2. Find angle BAD. BAD is down here and I know that just now we have a cyclic quad. So angles in the opposite segment will add up to 180. Now what do can we find? I know that this is 40 degrees. That means I'll need this angle over here, right? So number one, angle OCB is an isosceles triangle, 180 minus 110, divide by 2. That gives me 70 divided by 2, 35 degrees. And if that's so, the whole angle over here will be 35 plus 40. How do we find this angle? Well, angles in opposite segment. Angle BAD will now be... 180 minus 35 minus 40. And that gives me a total of 105 degrees. Next one, part B. Given that CD is 8cm. Oh, now maybe I need to use some trigonometry. Find the length of BC. So, question mark. Now, what do we have in this triangle? This triangle over here, we have this angle to be 55. And we know that this length is 8. And I want to find BC. So that means I will need to find which angle. I need to know what is this angle over here. We know that this angle is actually made up of uh, 35 plus 40 degrees, which gives me 75 degrees. So if that's the case, angle D, B, C, to find part B, angle D, B, C is now 180 minus 55 minus 75 degrees. And I'll get it to be 50 degrees. Now, what can I do to find B, C? I can use the sine rule. So using the sine rule, I have um, 8 over sine of 50 to be equals to BC over sine of 55 degrees. Working out your answers, BC will now be equals to 8 over sine 50 times sine 55. And the answer is... 5.02005 and rounded off to 5.02 cm. Next question, 
TYS 2016 question number 12, 12 part B. I have P, Q and R are points on the circle. T, A and T, B are tangents to the circle. So the moment we have tangent, what do we know? We have 90 degrees with the radius. So T, O is also tangent, 90 degrees to the radius. And we know that tangents from external point are equal, right? And what can we see? We can see a couple of pictures over here. Uh, I can either have a cyclic quad, I don't know, not cyclic quad, a quadrilateral, sorry. Or I can also have a isosceles triangle over here. So depending on what we need to find later. Now question. Uh, first part of the question, they tell me that, oh, angle P, T, Q is X. So find in terms of X, angle T, P, Q. In this case, we can see uh, triangle T, P, Q is isosceles. So therefore, angle T, P, Q will now be taking 180 minus away the angle x, divide by 2. And in a simplified form, you can either write this as the answer, or we can divide them individually. 180 divided by 2 will give me 90, and x divided by 2 will be x over 2. So this will be the angle for part 1. Part 2, find angle PRQ. Now PRQ is a point on the circumference. What do we know about angles at the circumference? So, angle at the circumference is twice the angle at the center. So now this is related to this angle over here. What do we know? Now this one is this face uh, over here. That means I must match with the reflex angle. So something like a set face with a set face. But before that, I will probably need to find out what is the angle over here, this angle. So therefore, I'm going to use my quadrilateral because I know that a sum of angles in a quadrilateral is 360. Subtract away 90, subtract away 90 and x will give me this angle. So let's first part 2 find the small angle. P O Q, uh, obtuse angle in this case, that will be 360 minus 90 minus 90 minus x, and we'll get 180 minus x degrees. Now, if this angle over here is 180 degrees minus x, I need to get the reflex angle for P O Q, which is in red over here. So that will be 360 subtract away, put a bracket down here, 180 minus x. Why do we need to put a bracket? Because this here and this sign here will change. So to simplify this, we'll get 360 minus 180 plus x. And that will be 180 plus x. Taking angles at the center to be twice the angle at the circumference. That gives me angle PRQ to be 180 plus x divided by 2. I can either take this answer or I can take to divide them individually and I'll get 90 plus x over 2 degrees. Answer. Two zero one seven question number twelve A. Now taking a look at this following pictures, I have A B C D, A B C, and D to be on the points on the circumference. Center O. So if I have center O, that means I'm going to look for which property involves center O. Angle at the center to be twice the angle at the circumference so let's look for the chinese dancer 
But in this case, we notice that this is actually a sad face, so it needs to match with a sad face. So if that's the case, this is 150, what is this angle over here? This will be 360 minus 150, which gives us 210 degrees. Now, let's take a look at the other properties. What can we find? Mm, I can see that there is a butterfly over here, angles in the same segment. Okay, and I have uh, no, no other things that I know of. Okay, let's take a look at our question. Find angle A, B, D. So number one, to find angle A, B, D, a, B, D is an angle on the circumference. So angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. I need to match the set face with the set face. So that will be 210 divided by 2. So give me 105. So this angle is 105 degrees over here. Next one, part 2. Find angle A, C, E. To find angle ACE, this angle is actually beside the angle ACD. That means I can use the butterfly property, which is angles in the same segment, that this angle will now be 105. So let us write down the property first. Angle ACD is now 105 because of the butterfly property. Angles in the same segment are equal. Now let us find angle ACE. And that will be 180 minus 105 to get my answer. And that will be 75 degrees. Have you gotten the answer? Last question for the day. Let's take a look at the following questions. We have A, B, C, and D to be points on the circumference, on the circle. Well, we have quite a number of things to notice. Number one, this is a uh, four points on the circle in a with a quadrilateral. So this is a cyclic quad. Angles in opposite segment are supplementary they add up to 180 degrees now let's take a look at this number over here what is this this is 2.4 that means this angle here is now given in radians now very important rule that we know 180 degrees is equals to pi radian so we need to use this property over here now Giving your answer in, in radian mode, so we need to find all the other angles in radians as well. Let's continue to read our question. That is a center O, so center O down here. If there is a center, what property can we think of related to the center? Well, angle at center is twice angle at circumference. I can have the first one over here, angle at the circumference. Or I can also have angle at the circumference over here, a set face with the set face. And a happy face with the happy face. So there's quite a couple of answers that we can find. Not only that, we know that AO is a radius. OC is a radius, so we can also have an isosceles triangle. Now let's work out our answers for our questions. A part 1. Calculating your answer in radian, find angle ABC. Oh, angle ABC over here and this angle uh, add up to 180 degrees. So using angles in opposite segment, angle ABC is 180 minus this. But 180 is what in radian? Oh, it's pi. So it should be pi minus 2.4 radian. If you want the exact answer, we should calculate it up. Giving our answer to three single figures, it will be 0.4 rounded off to 0 0.742 radians. Part 2, 
angle AOC. I need to find the angle AOC. Now, this question here did not tell me whether they want the reflex angle. So, I'm going to find the obtuse angle here, AOC. Well, we can see angle at center is twice angle at circumference. Now, this is already 0 0.74159. So, angle at the circumference AOC will be 2 times angle at the circumference. And that will give me 0 0.74159 times 2, 1.48318. A. Rounding off, I get 1.48 radians in 3 sig feet. Okay, now next part, we are going to give them some measurements. AD is 5.6 and CD is 4.5. Mm, so probably we need to use some trigonometry over here. Calculate the length of AC. Wow, this is just using... We have the angles over here, two sides over here, and the angle 2.4. This tells me that I need to use the radian mode. And we can get AC to be equals to, using the cosine rule, AC is equals to, AC square is equals to 5.6 square plus 4.5 square minus 2AB cosine of the rate angle 2.4 radians. Okay, but this must be in radian mode, after which you take square root and you'll be able to get your answer. Uh, 9.4222202. So rounding off again, 9.42 uh, cm. Um, next part, they ask us to find the angle CAD. So we're going to use the sine rule. Uh, I have AC given to me just now, 9.42202, and we should be able to get the answer for angle CAD. Okay, keeping your calculator in the radian mode, part 2, angle tells us that um, 4.5 over side of angle CAD is equals to 9.42202 over sine of angle 2.4. Now, it all must be in a radian mode. We can cross multiply and we find that um, 9.42202 sine angle CAD is equals to 4.5 times sine 2.4. And how do I find angle CAD? CAD will be sine inverse 4.5 sine 2.4 over 9.42202. And let us work out the numbers. 0 0.32848 round off to 368 0.328 radians answer now we come to the end of this part of the chapter and we'll be studying revision for the next few chapters